Okay, so this is the first part to um, the AK-47. So um, you start making a plane, like any size, just make it rectangular and just take off all the four sides. Now go into your material um, editor and load up um, the AK-47 reference. I just got mine from Google. It was on one of the first pages. <sighs> Now this video will just deal with the first um, first part, which is the magazine, which is fairly simple to do. Um, I normally always start off with the magazine. Okay, so you can see it's when you look into the view, it's not to um, the right scale. So um, to do this, to get a right scale, you'll have to go um, back onto your material and load it back up and you'll see like the numbers they're the size so you just type them in to the object properties oh it's a bit dodgy I think I've got something wrong with it, is it? No. Um, I'll have another look. I think I've got all the numbers wrong. So just press that button. Ah, okay. So it was actually six, not three. That's a bit better. Right, I'm just going to scale this down. It's not so big. I just move it back. Now, we're not, I'm not going to box model it um, or poly mod. Um, use them um, just planes. I'm going to um, use the line to the line tool. Start off at the middle um, part, of the top of it, and then um, click. You go to bottom base in the middle. And click. Now you just want to drag it along until you get a nice curve. And then it's not quite um, the same curve, so just move it across. That's a bit better. Now go into rendering. Um, Check the top two boxes and go into rectangular, and um, you'll see it becomes a 3D object, but it's still classed as a line. So, um, just get it so um, so it's the same in the reference images. Press F4 and J to get rid of the the, the bounding box on it, and just just the setting so it's a bit thinner, and then. Alt X to make it go visible so you can see through it and see the texture. Now we go into interpolation and reduce the steps so it becomes more low poly and this is just going to do fine. Now we're going to convert it to edit poly. Now select all the middle edges that you see here. And right click and connect and move it so where like I have here and um, so if you've ever seen a magazine it's sort of you see what I mean it's, it's the morning tide just get it so um, it fits in with the image Well, it's still not good. Excuse me, I'm very tired. Just moving out of the way so I can see where I should place them.
that looks about right. It's a little one, yeah. Now, if you go back into your perspective view and just have a look around, it seems to be a bit thick, but that's alright for now. Uh, now, what you want to do is select all the vertexes. Always, obviously, there's multiple ways of doing this. I'm just doing it this way for now. And when you when you use a line to create a 3D object, you'll have um, if you see at the base, you'll have um, you'll have edges there that you didn't create. But it does this automatically with it, and now uh, you don't have to scale them on the green axis, um, which is Y, the Y axis. Uh, and just delete these unwanted edges with compressed backspace so you don't actually take anything else off and do the same with the vertex. Now, um, you want to scale it in a bit so it's a bit, looks more of a modeling size. Now what we're gonna do? Um, go on edge and we're gonna use edge um, ring. So it sets all the edges that ring around and just connect and just leave it as the same settings as before. Okay. okay. Now you're gonna set use the same axis to scale, and it's best to use the uh, to look more around the top. Seems fine. So um, I'm going to delete the top edges. So that's obviously where the bullets are going to go. And uh, that looks fine. For now, anyway. Now let's just see what it's like. It you renders know, very basic, obviously. I'm also just going to. Yeah, I'm just going to edit the rest a bit more. That's a bit better. Okay. Let's run this Beatrice out. Ah, that's pants. Right. If you want to get off just a nice um, render in Scanline, go to Advanced Lighting, lighting and go on uh, Light Tracer. Then just get uh, a normal skylight and uh, just place it in the scene, then just render it out. Uh, first, I'm going to go back into the texture and select the free one and select the object, which is the magazine, and just uh, check two sided. Basically, this is applied texture to both sides. So when you render out, you can see the inside as well. And everything's much brighter and then uh, looks a lot better. And then uh, that's pretty much it for part one. Bye.